Hey team, Marty the IT Guy here. Welcome back. Look, I'm really sorry, I haven't dropped a video since last year. Um, part of the reason for that is I've been working on this new space. Uh, every non-working hour for a month I've been in here and painting and doing all the things that you do uh, to come up with a whole new, uh, whole new workspace for me, including my new workbench. So welcome back, it's good to see you. Um, what we're going to do today is a short video and take a look at three predictions, three things that I think we might see happen this year in OT and ICS cybersecurity. Um, also, I want to introduce you to a new idea. On my bench back here, I've got, oh, I'll cover it up, you can't see it, you can't see it. Um, on my bench back here, I've got an OT device and I've got a little bit of a competition for you. Um, more information about that towards the end, but let's take a look at three predictions that may or may not happen in 2023. Prediction number one, um, we are going to continue to see OT security incidents grow and increase throughout 2023. Uh, look, I mean, this is a no-brainer, right? Um, I don't think anyone would disagree with this. But what I'm seeing uh, and what I, what I believe is happening is people are still not getting the basics right. And that's why some of these incidents are happening. Um, if, if everybody had the the basic practices for good security in place, it probably would make it harder for these things to occur. Um, so yeah, the, the takeaway from that is why not spend, why not spend 2023 getting your basics in place um, so that maybe you don't become a statistic. Okay, number two, prediction number two. Um, and this is based off what, what I noticed happening in the last, particularly the last six months of 2022. Um, I think we're going to see a shift in the um, requirements people are looking for when they're hiring OT and ICS security roles. Towards the end of 2022, um, some colleagues and I, we noticed that OT and ICS security roles were now asking for candidates who specifically had um, OT engineering experience. So we're not talking about um, somebody who's had 10 years in IT and they've done a SANS ICS 410 and, and or an ICS 515 or maybe some 62443 training and going, yep, we're stepping into the OT field. People aren't looking for that. They're now saying, yes, we want those things, but you also need to have five to 10 years of actual OT engineering experience. You need to have programmed PLCs, worked on HMIs, um, worked with historians, network configuration, all of these things uh, are coming together. And the reason I think this change is happening is um, those companies that have got their basics right, they've got in, they've done their asset inventory, they've done their risk analysis, they understand where their business is, and they've made those easy and quick wins, are now finding that in order to increase their maturity to the next level, they need specialist capabilities. And that's where guys like me, guys with a background like mine, um, maybe that's where it's, it's our turn to really shine. Prediction number three. Recently, there was some news about a group that successfully managed to hack and ransom an RTU. Um, I think we're going to see more of that. But I'm going to be maybe, I don't know, maybe a little controversial here. I don't actually care. I don't care if you can hack and ransomware my RTU. Don't care. If you do it to one, if you ransomware, if you hack and you ransom one RTU, so what? In my storeroom, I've got a few. I can have one programmed and swap out the dead one in probably under four hours. So it's not really a big deal. Now, do I care if you manage to ransom 10 or 100 RTUs. Yeah, that's going to hurt, um, but for a different reason. If, if you're able to ransom one, um, maybe that's a, a hole in the net that we missed. If you're able to get to 100, refer back to prediction number one because somebody didn't do their basics correctly. Um, we all know, and we've been talking about this for years, that the nature of OT and ICS equipment is it's inherently insecure. So why should it be a surprise or a big news story that someone manages to break in and and do some damage to one? It, you know, come on. Um, 
it's going to be decades. I'm going to be retired before all of the vulnerable devices are out of the market. I'm quite sure of that. So it, it shouldn't be a surprise when people come along with information like this. Um, and it shouldn't be a distraction. Don't let it distract you or become um, FUD, that fear, uncertainty and doubt. Don't let it be a source of that. When someone comes along and goes, by the way, I've managed to do this really awesome hack on this piece of gear, don't worry about it. Do your basics. Move on to those next level maturity things. Get that stuff done. Remember, protect the soft GUI center. Um, layered defense, multiple layers of defense. If you do that, then it doesn't matter if someone can ransomware an RTU. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so on to the last part of this. So on my bench back there, I'm going to try and hide it so you can't do zooms and close-ups and things, but on my bench back there, I have a piece of OT equipment. Now, here's the deal. First person to correctly contact me and identify the five components that are on that rack, um, and I, I don't just want, oh, it's uh, this. I want uh, manufacturer and I want model number. Manufacturer and model number for the five components that make up that rack sitting on my desk. I'll show you a still photo shortly to give you some help. First person to contact me with that information, I'm going to reach out to our marketing team and see what's in the swag cupboard and we'll send something cool your way. And finally, um, look, we'll be back with the regular videos with more how-tos and more investigation um, and, uh, and helpful information about what we're doing at Nozomi Networks and how to use our products and how things work better. We'll be back with more of that information shortly. I, uh, I've got a really full video um, calendar for this year. There's a lot of things people are asking me to do. It's going to be a really exciting year. And the whole idea of building this workbench is I can now go to a deeper level of technical. So we can start looking down inside some devices and see what we can find, um, play around with a few things, get a bit more technical rather than just you listening to me talk to this camera. And yeah, we can do a whole lot more. 2023 should be exciting. Let's do it together. Let's have a lot of fun. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Marty, the OT guy. Nozomi Networks, check us out if you haven't done so already. We are a really cool bunch of people to hang out with. Um, and if you're a customer of ours, you probably already know that. In the meantime, see you on the next video. Take it easy. Cheers. Bye. Hey, it's Marty here. Don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see in our video content. Like and subscribe. Share this with your friends and colleagues. Thanks. See ya.